vitamin D by far, I, I should have started with vitamin D. I can't believe I didn't do that. Um, because vitamin D, there are vitamin D receptors on the mast cell. Mm. So if you don't have enough vitamin D, your mast cells are going to be more reactive. You have enough vitamin D and the mast cells perceive a stable environment, they're going to be stabilized. We have treated MCAS patients with vitamin D alone and have seen tremendous improvements. I mean, for me, having, I, I always say there's like several tests we should get as we get into this phase of life. And vitamin D is one of them to, ha to be in the optimal range because it's an easy one that we could fix, right? And, and the way I think about it, I have patients who will say to me, and you might even get a response from people like, oh, I can't tolerate vitamin D. And the way I think about it is that there are some vitamins in our body that are essential, right? Vitamin D is an essential vitamin. Um, you can't, we, we can't manufacture it, right? We have to, we have to have some, something like sun or the supplement to, to be metabolized, right? So um, you can't really be allergic to something that's essential to your living. So people who react to vitamin D are often reacting to what I'll call the excipients, the fillers, or what it's, what it's bound to, or the formulation of it, maybe lanolin, um, which is what a lot of vitamin D comes from, D3. is what they're sensitive to. So maybe they need a, a vegan uh, vitamin D. D.